If you've been successful, you don't you didn't get there on your own. Yet, yet should employers be kind of letting their employees know so that they understand what, what, what it's about to be an entrepreneur. The difference between the employer and the employed is the employer is the guy that generally spends his Friday afternoons, his weekends, the wee hours of the morning determining if whether or not he has made the best business bet that's going to return uh, a profit to him. And if he's wrong, well, then he pays for that. In my personal experience, I have literally refinanced cars, I've refinanced my house, I've run up uh, debt on my credit cards to make sure that I could continue to pay my payroll. And that's something that you don't generally talk about with your employees, that, that service and uh, those wee hours of the morning because you want your people to be inspired and you want them to know that uh, they're working towards a grander vision. But there's an awful lot of sacrifice in being an employer, at least in my experience. Nice full crowd. If, if we'd replaced all those people with members of Congress, 435 of them and 100 senators, and you had one minute to tell them, here's the one thing I want you to accomplish that will help me and other entrepreneurs like me hire people, what would that be? Change your name, change your dress, walk down to your local employment opportunity of your choice, whether that's a restaurant, a bar, a hotel, or an employment center, fill out an application and live for a day in the life of someone who is seeking to simply work for the privilege of working. And if you want to go a little bit further, come up with one clever business idea today, reach deeply into your pocket, into that of your friends and family, and place everything that you've got on that bet. Make that successful, live with it, I think you'll be a better uh, governor.